Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiast right off the bat on today's show. Takata is back in the news and obviously it's not for a good reason. Because the week after the taping of this program, there are a lot of reports that Takata will announce that it's going to be filing for bankruptcy. Not a hugely surprising situation, especially the kind of situation that this group has been in. And there are reports that a Chinese-owned group out of Michigan is actually ready for the taking to actually purchase this group and continuing to manufacture those airbags that are needed to be replaced all over the planet. And there is a weird stories out there about how few of these Takata bear bags have actually been replaced, which is weird. Even though your vehicle will be out for a little bit of time, it is totally free to actually get those replaced, and they need to get replaced for no further injuries. So sad to see Takata gone, but their group will live on, at least building these brand new airbags into the future. Next up on the list, we talked about this vehicle in the last episode. This is the first ever Honda Civic Type R sold on U.S. soil. And the first one to come off the boat was going to be auctioned off for charity. And we talked about it having a high price of $200,000, and that's indeed what it did sell for. All of those funds are going to go to a fantastic charity, a pediatric brain tumor group. And those monies will be put to very good use inside of that organization. Next up on the list, an interesting story that we may never ever get to hear the end of. And it is a fellow that owns a Corvette Z06. Now the new Z06 has been out for a pretty good chunk of time. For the lawsuit to come out this far out, I think is a little bit surprising. Even though... This may have been in the shadows for a tad bit of time, actually, to reach up to a class action lawsuit. Now, this particular person claims that he took the brand new Z06 out to a track day to have a little fun, but the vehicle will only do a handful of laps before it goes into limp mode. Yeah, stop me if you've heard of that before, at least from a different manufacturer. So now they're suing General Motors in a class action lawsuit. Now, the reason why I say that we may never ever get to hear the end of this deal it's just for the sheer fact that this thing's chances are is going to settle out of court. They'll have an out of court settlement on this deal, and we will never ever hear how this deal goes down. So, hopefully, this deal goes down and these Corvettes do get fixed where they don't go into limp mode. So, doggone quickly. Next up on the list, we talked about these machines coming out of the Paris Motor Show where they were in concept form, but we will finally begin to see production versions of these vehicles. And it is Aston Martin's AMR Special Editions. AMR standing for Aston Martin Racing. Now they're going to build it just in the Vantage group, that being the V8 Vantage and the V12 Vantage. The V8 Vantage comes with a 4.7 liter normally aspirated V8 making 435 horsepower and 346 pounds-feet of torque. That has shifted through a six-speed manual gearbox with a top speed of 190 miles an hour and zero to 60 run in just 4.5 seconds. You can also get this special edition version in the V12 Vantage. That comes with a 5.5 liter normally aspirated V12 making 595 horsepower and 457 pounds feet of torque. That has shipped through a seven speed manual gearbox 0 to 60 comes in at 3.6 seconds with a top speed of 200 miles an hour. Now they're going to build 300 of these for the world, even though Aston Martin has yet to announce what markets are going to be able to get their grubby little mitts on these cars, at least as of yet. 200 of them will come out in V8 Vantage trim, and 100 will be in the V12 Vantage trim. There are a handful of little options and several different color options in case you don't care for the colors that they're shown in these photographs. Now this is a little bit of win on Sunday, sell on Monday type situation because even though Aston Martin showed off these cars a handful of days ago, the day of the taping of this program was the end of the 24 hours of Le Mans where Aston Martin took on all comers to win their class in GTE Pro, Aston Martin finishing first in class, and it was a star-studded affair, especially when it comes to the lineup of the top five. Aston Martin team actually coming in first. The Ford GT group was really hoping to make that 
a big win on the 50 year anniversary of their last big win, at least back in the day, back in the 60s, when they won that, even though they won it, did win the class win last year. Chevrolet Corvette coming in third place. They were the head on favorites coming into the weekend. Porsche 911 GT 911R actually coming in in fourth place, and the Ferrari 488 coming in in fifth. Like I said, a star studded field of fine GTE Pro cars and drivers taking on that big list. It was a barn burner of a race with lots of interesting details that flowed on through that, that race. I think I watched maybe a tad too many hours of it. Last up on the list, let's talk about Volkswagen's brand new Polo, the 2018 version of the Polo, which is an all-new automobile. This vehicle comes with a bevy of petrol-powered power plants and a pair of diesel-powered power plants. But let's talk about those gasoline power plants, including one of them that's a 1-liter turbo that doesn't actually run on gasoline. It can run on natural gas. There's a pair of different 1.5 liters. All these run with 5-speed manuals or 7-speed dual-clutch transmissions. But let's talk about the big dog version, the Polo GTI, that comes with a 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder making 197 horsepower. And that's either shifted through a 6-speed manual or a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission. This vehicle will be available in dealer showrooms just in a handful of months' time with a starting price of €12,975 in the European markets. And that's all there was that I thought was worth talking about for this edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. Don't forget to like us over on the Facebook page. Link's down in the show notes. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at any time. Get the first dibs on the brand new shows as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon.